So it was Christmas and I was busy. Of course, everybody's busy on Christmas. I was asked to go speak to a senior center to talk to the residents and get their spirits up and I was not in the mood that day. When I woke up, there was a terrible news story, just gut-wrenching and it was the talk of work. And then I had to make a quick drop off at the grocery store and I, I said, Merry Christmas, as I always do. And the checkout person said, yeah, whatever. And I went out to my car and as I was getting into my car, the car right next to me, the doors opened and both people got out and they were shouting and swearing at each other. And then I pulled out of the parking lot and a guy swerved and he shouted at me, cursing, honking his horn. And I thought, my, is, are things this bad? Anyway, I made it to the senior center and thinking, I don't know how in the world I'm going to tell any kind of uplifting stories to these people. So the person who was in charge of it was introducing me around and all of a sudden I hear a guy say, Hey Jeff, come here. And I look over and it's a, it's a young fella in a wheelchair. And he had flames painted on the side of the wheelchair and had stickers on it. He had dark glasses. He had his hands stuck up like this. And I could see that his eyes were sunk in behind his glasses, he was blind. Name's Sid, nice to meet you. So I shook his hand and he said, hey, I got something for you. And he reached into his pocket and he gave me uh, a ring with a leather thong and some, and some beads on it. You like it? It's a key ring, key chain. It's pretty, isn't it? I said, well, yeah. He said, I get help picking out the colors. I put all the colors in a bag and then God tells me which one to pick out. Yeah, I gotta tell you, he's been pretty good to me. I used to have a drinking problem, but I've been dry for 10 years now. I gotta tell you, my faith's pretty important to me. Anyway, nice to meet you. And then he reached out his hand again and he shook my hand and it was a it was a warm handshake and by that I mean he really wanted to shake my hand and something about that handshake just wiped and dispelled all of the anxiety and fear and worry just away huh I don't think he heard a word I said he fell asleep about 10 minutes into my speech I guess it was part of his condition, but, but he did it, that, that one handshake. He was my friend. I wish I could tell you a little bit more about him. He uh, died a couple of weeks later, peacefully in his sleep. I still have that keychain. Uh, every time I start my car, I think of him. And he taught me what a difference people can make in the world. So Merry Christmas to you, Sid Weinkoff, wherever you may be, my five-minute friend.